So a lifelong homophobe, comedian Tracy Morgan, now loves the gays. So, yeah, sure. Uh, so yes, the 30 Rock comedian, he went off on an anti-gay tirade at a show in Tennessee about three weeks ago, and now not only has he apologized several times for his homophobic rant, uh, but now he has teamed up with GLAD. Uh, he's planning to do PSAs and speaking out on their behalf. Uh, he recently apologized at a press conference staged by the GLAD organization, and now he will be speaking out for them at against a bill, which just happens to be in Tennessee, uh, outlawing the discussion of uh, homosexuality for kids until high school. So yeah, I find this to be unbelievable, and by unbelievable, I really mean literally. It's unbelievable. Uh, so you, forgive me for being a bit uh, cynical a-hole in this on this whole thing but uh, you know he, he might be he might be sincere in what he says but, uh, but I do find it strange that a guy who would hold this lifelong grudge against gays for all 42 years of his life now all of a sudden he has this epiphany that uh, a sudden realization that what he said was not okay. Uh, remember, he he actually made he had a similar tirade against gays at a show in Carnegie Hall about two years ago, but no one really held a gun to his head at that time. He, but now, not only does he not only does he no longer hate gays, but uh, he loves them and he's going to speak to them. He's going to speak for them. And now, instead of stabbing his son to death. If, uh, if his son came out and, and told him he was gay, he, he said he would love him too, just like anyone else. You know, it's talk, it's, it's, you talk about going from one extreme to the other. You know, and on top of that, he spoke to a gossiper recently about uh, how, you know, as he, can, it was, he, he was continuing his uh, apology tour, you know, talking about how he was being, how he was bullied as a kid and, how he lost his dad to AIDS, even though, even though his dad wasn't gay when he died. Yeah, you know, he, he, he talked about he talked about trying to relate to gays in a way. You know, speaking about how it, his dad died of AIDS, and uh, you would think that you would think that a black man growing up in Brooklyn in the late '60s, early '70s, you know, a period of civil and political unrest, uh, he would. You think he would be a little bit more sensitive uh, to issues of discrimination, uh, plus the fact that he's part of a very diverse, very uh, liberal Hollywood community. He's part of the, you know, he's doing work for NBC, which is a very, you know, which is a hotbed for uh, liberalism. So, but yeah, if you have those, if you have these two main influences in your life, and s still you go on stage spewing homophobic, homophobic rhetoric. You know, again, this is again in ten This took place in Tennessee. Now he's, where he's now trying to speak on behalf of gays. Either, you know, either you you might be you might be sincere about the whole thing, or more realistically, you're tr desperately trying to save face. You're trying to save your career, or you're just simply some big fat attention whore. And you both literally and figuratively. Figuratively, I I, I don't think I'm be, I don't think I'm being unfair when I'm say when I say he's fat. But, you know, but fat in more ways than one. Big fat attention whore. So, and, and, on, and as far as, um, as far as the gay and lesbian community is concerned, as far as GLAD is concerned, you know, they could do more to help enlighten people on this issue. They could be, they could hold Tracy Morgan's feet to the fire. Hold an open, honest discussion on gay, on gay issues in Tennessee. Force him to confront his, um, his inner demons, his inner homophobia and you know knowing he needs to salvage his, reputa his um, reputation and career anyway you know you know ho hold him to hold his feet to the fire but you know instead you know they're they're accepting they're just gonna go ahead and accept this uh, this apology and they can and use his um, use his celebrity his celebrity status his name as part of this obvious PR campaign to try to jam this rhetoric their rhetoric down the throats of a state that 
appears to be far from ready to accept homosexuality anyway. So, you know, in, in conclusion, the bottom line is it's a case of celebrities and special interest groups. You know, and I want, I want not, not, to be, uh, not to be crude here when I say this, but it, it's, it's a case of celebrities and special interests whoring themselves out thinking they're, they're going to go out and promote change when really they're, st they're still just promoting themselves. Now, as long as people continue to confront social issues in this manner, you know, hardly anything is ever going to change. So, that's all i got to say about that. Thanks for watching.